So my time here at St. Francis has been awesome and being a comm arts student has been amazing. I've just had such a great time here. So I figured I'd ask a few of my fellow comm arts students what they think because I'm not really liking this whole being in front of a camera thing. I'm rather much behind the scenes and loving the editing part of it. So I'll let them take over and have them say what they need to say about graduating and everything they've gone through here. Hi, my name is Kara. I'm a communication arts major and I'm graduating in May. My name is Michael Sparacino and I am a graduating senior of the 2018 class from St. Francis College. My name is Simran and I'm graduating. My name is Michael Scarl. I'm a senior here at St. Francis College. My name is Marissa Paganelli and I'm a graduating senior in SFC's class of 2018. What do you right, want? We're ready. What are we doing? I didn't know I was going to major in communications until I came to the open house like as an accepted student. Uh, no, actually when I first came to St. Francis I had this brilliant idea of being a radiology major. Basically from the time that I was little uh, I always wanted to be the center of attention what kind and of everything. Did you used to do? Anything, whether it was voices or you know acting in front of the whole crowd or something like that. I always wanted that spotlight, that attention. I had already decided that I was going to major in calm arts but I didn't know my minor and I decided to minor in writing my junior year. I originally was an accounting major going into my freshman year, and I ended up making the switch going into my junior year. I knew that um, from the start of my SFC journey that I would be a communications major. When I first started college in general, I actually started out as an education major um, with a minor in communications. I always knew I wanted to do something in like television, like theater, and, like performing but I didn't know what, what I could do in that without literally being like an actor. Both of my parents work in hospitals, so I was kind of like, they told me to do that, so it didn't really work out well. And then when I found what I wanted to do, it got much better. So I just feel like uh, you should do what you want to do and not always what your parents tell you to do when it comes to the major. I just fell in love with it, so I realized that this is something that I really was passionate about and wanted to devote all my energy to. I didn't want to just sit at a desk all day, and I wanted to perform and I felt like, you know, this world could be so terrible at some points and if you can make people laugh, you have a gift. And that's, that's just what I wanted to do. I came here, found out about communications and like TV and all that stuff. And then in that moment I decided I was going to be a communications major. I have a lot of feelings about graduation. I actually can't wait to get out of St. Francis College. I feel bittersweet about it. I'm very excited, but also nervous. On one hand, I'm super excited about it and starting a new journey, but I'm also really sad to leave it behind. I feel phenomenal because I am one of those people who can't wait to get into the real world and start looking for a job. Right now, I'm just at the point where I kind of have an idea of where I'm going after graduation, so I just wanted to get here and be done with it. It's kind of upsetting that we're leaving now because, you know, these guys are my boys and, you know, I'm leaving them in college. Since deciding communications, my college experience has been a lot more fun. I really like the classes a lot. I have actually enjoyed college a lot more because I found the classes a lot more enjoyable. It gives me somewhere to um, to channel like my creative energy and all of that. Oh, it doesn't really feel like work when you're doing something that you love. I joined Terrier TV. That's where I met like all the friends that I have. Frankly, the people are more entertaining. Well, I think I got way more involved than. I expected to get involved. Freshman year I used to have 8 a.m.s and leave at like 11. Then junior and senior year I was like 7th floor where you would find me all the time and that's the comm department. We were part of the 2.30 club and what the 2.30 club is basically after you're done with your classes you kind of go home. That kind of changed around our senior year. We kind of became more involved in the school. I do recommend to you know all incoming freshmen you only have one shot at it. You know getting involved early, making connections with people, you know stuff like that. What I'm gonna miss the most is seeing my friends every day and being in the studio and filming things with everyone during activity period and just being in class together and like being student and stuff. I guess just being in school and being a student because I don't know, I never thought that I would like love school. 
think I'll miss all the people that I've met the most, um, my friends, professors, my advisors. Um, I just feel like everybody at SFC um, has made my experience that much more memorable. Not having to be like an adult and just doing adult things. I think I'd miss that, just being, you know, stress-free about that part of your life. Just worrying about schoolwork and what is the next project to. So I think I'd miss that the most. Definitely think uh, like, the, like the downtime and like knowing that some days you always have like the same schedule and definitely in a communications field, there's no such thing as like a normal schedule. Everything. I will miss everything because I just enjoyed my four years here. It's, uh, it's scary. It's scary. Um, you know, today is our last day of classes. And uh, you know, it's you never gotta do a piece of homework again. You never have to study for a test. Um, it's it's weird. Uh, you know, now we gain a lot of responsibility. Do I feel ready to leave? Yes and no. Like I feel like I'm I'm ready to get out and start working. But do I want to leave? No. I wish I could just stay here for one more year and just hang out with everyone, keep doing what we've been doing. I am ready, but at the same time, I'm like, mm, do I, am I really ready? Yes, I'm ready to leave um, in the sense that I feel like I've learned everything that um, I set out to learn, um, but I'm also sad to leave it behind. <laughs> the future is, is scary for a lot of people, I think, and not a lot of people are ready for it. I'm ready to cherish that moment. I know my friend Ant right here, I, I think he's ready to cherish the moment as well. Mm -hmm. And I think you just gotta, you know, you have to go after it. Yes and no. No because I am scared to see what will happen in life, but yes because I am one of those people who just want to dive right into the real world and get get my life going. Yeah, I feel like I definitely am ready to leave. Just uh, gotta figure out what your track is and you gotta know that in the beginning you start from the bottom and you gotta work your way up. I remember, there's this quote from Andy Bernard. It goes, uh, I wish you knew you were in the good old days before you actually left them. And um, I didn't think I was in the good old days while I was here because school was a part of my life for 20 years and it's, it's being ripped away now out of nowhere. And uh, it's kind of weird, it's kind of relaxing, but it's kind of nerve wracking at the same time. You know your whole life you go to school in September and you know next September there's no, there's no school that you have to go to. So it's definitely, kind of scary to not have that basically set up for you and you have to figure out what you're doing in September. So it's exciting but scary at the same time. It, it's, it's something hard to take in, not going to school you know, every day or in college a few days a week. Um, it's, it's weird. I'm not really sure how I'm going to react when I have you know, so much free time, but I want to get to work right away. Everyone's like excited, nervous, and stressed at the same time, and so am I, but we'll get through it. Yeah, it's happening. I was originally a transfer student, but I feel like SFC has been my home for my entire college career. I don't want to leave St. Francis yet. So that was my last video here at St. Francis College. It's been great, and I'm going to miss you, Terriers. Um, the one advice I do have for a lot of you who are, who are watching this video and for younger people who are going into college, um, I, I would take a different route than um, me, Tom, and him did. We used to take the BQE a lot in the morning. Um, don't take the BQE. Definitely go on to the BQE. A lot of traffic out there. Um, but, you know, what are you going to do? You live and you learn. Let's get out of here, kid. Uh, I... Oh, guys. Um... Okay, yeah, just backing off what they all said. Um, I don't really have any advice. Uh, thought that this would be my platform to try and speak my we mind. We need this room. Get out. Get out. Get out, idiot. We need this room. We need it. Okay.